Okay, guys. This is going to be a video about this hot rod turn signal and how to install it. I spent all day yesterday working on this shit and um, I'm talking like during the day and then I got it finished at night time and there's no good videos online about it so the first part of this video, let me show you my face. The first part of this video, this is my 1962 um, Chevy and Pop. So um, the turn signal in here, I already took this out and it's all broken inside and it's so broken there's some there's a thread in there that's that the thread is really fucked up to where I can't I can't really fix it it's a lot easier to get this turn signal cuz I have to put a, a new thread probably a whole new freaking a whole new deal okay and um there's no good instructions online there's no good um this is the, the only instructions that came with on the box and um I spent a lot of time yesterday trying to figure this figure this out. So um and it works. Let me show you. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you how I wired it first. And the rest of this video, it's gonna be a long video. I don't think so. But the rest of this video I'm gonna talk about where I fucked up, where I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't, and um how I wired everything. And um yeah, let's get to it, man. So let me show you that it actually works. There's the right blinker. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Okay. Let me start quick with the diagram. It came with this clamp. Let me turn this off. It came with this clamp right here um, to clamp it on. That's actually a ground, so it didn't work. I read online. I had to go through a lot of reading, a lot of reviews. I had to read a lot of shit because it's not really clear. So I bought a huge clamp, a clamp that fit around here at AutoZone for like $2. You're going to need that. A bigger clamp, and it has to be grounded, so it has to be on for you to even try it out first. Then you're going to need one of these. I had no idea what this was. This is a flasher. I got it at AutoZone for like 12 bucks. This is a flasher, okay? And um, without this... Without having this, I put everything together. Without having this, I would put right and left, but it didn't flash, it didn't blink. It would just stay lit. It would just stay, it would just stay lit. It wouldn't, um, it wouldn't keep blinking. This is what that's for, it keeps it blinking. So, um, this is how I wired it. All these wires here, I didn't have time to clean it up yet and hide the wires. So this is really fresh to me. And um, the green one goes to the front right. This goes to the front right. This is how I, uh, I wired it. Um, I found a little hole in there. It was hard for me to find a place to, to, to um, what's it called, a firewall to put it through to the engine. So I found a place on the outside, let me show you. So the green goes to the right bulb. And I found a little hole. It goes down here through a little hole. And it comes up from out of here through the back. because it's behind the wheel well back here you can see it right here though the white wire the white wire and now there's two wires that hook on to this light two of them 
and I tried this is the purple one and this is the other color I can't really see it I tried both of them okay this is how I wired I did the other side the same I wired it um, directly to the light it came with two it came with two wires to one Sorry, it's really windy. It came with two wires to one light bulb. And I tried this purple one. At first I tried the green one. Then I tried the purple one. This goes to the purple. Okay. And at first I thought that if I put these together, all three of them together, it would work. But when I put all three of these together, the flasher didn't work individually. The flasher worked. The lights, they both went on like hazards. So... I this one goes right to this purple one just straight to it I'm leaving this off Left it off through this wall I'm really sorry it's kind of it looks kind of complicated right now but it's not to the yellow wire and the yellow is the left front okay and that's what I did and these are to the back ones and I didn't have enough wire to go all the way to the back, but I traced it to see where it went. And the back one is orange. The back one is orange to the rear left, and I found out where that one's at, what color it is. So I plugged it right to it. And I thought in the beginning that if I put all three of these together, if I put all three of them together, that it would work. I had to I had to take this off and put one wire connected to one wire. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds very complicating. See this again? There's a red, and this is the this is where it came from. This red right here. And I had to take this off and have one wire connected to that one wire. Okay. Now, this is where shit, this is easy, you know. Yellow goes to the front left. Green goes to the front right. Okay, those are easy. Those are the easy part. Um, the hard, the weird part was the fuse. Red, KL, blue. This is how I did it. Um, the L is the black, you see that, there's an L right here, black, the B, I just thought B for blue, so I put that there, um, the blue wire to B, and um, if I switched any of these wires, it did not work, it made a little sound, like a stuttering sound, and it did not work, so I put the blue one to the B, the L to the, the black to the L, like it says here, and what's the other one? Red. And my um, this broke because I tried yesterday. This is the um, that's the fuse. The fuse busted yesterday, so um, it's because I was experimenting, doing all this bullshit just to try to get this working. So the fuse isn't there anymore. I fucked it up somehow and so I took out the fuse and I put the red wire, the, this is where the fuse is supposed to be, directly to a fuse up here. I connected it up here. That's how my bat, that's how my radio is, that's how my, um, that's where the red, the power wire is. That's where the power wire is um, to positive power. And that's the fuse is the positive power, the red. And the blue to the B and the black to the L. Okay, what what else? What other thing caught me off guard? The red wire. The red wire that comes from this goes to a stoplight switch. And then a hot wire. I'm like, what the fuck is that? A stoplight switch. So I had to look what a stoplight switch is. And this is what a stoplight stop light is connected to. God damn. 
That's a stoplight switch right there. It's connected to my brake pedal. And um, I connected it. This is also connected to my brake pedal. This is what the wire was, that little pearl one. That was connected to this. And what I did was I added this to the mix. I added them both to this. And this wire connects to the red wire to a stoplight switch. I have no idea what that's, what that's for. I know it works. Okay, I know all this stuff works. So this is how I wired them all up. It seemed pretty, really hard at first. A lot of um, trial and error, but that's short um, how this works, man. So now all I have to do is clean up these wires. See, see, I had them, I had it taped off BR back right, and they're all, they're all um, connected. I just need to tape them up and get them out the way um, to make this work. Hopefully, this answered any questions. Now the lights, the light bulbs were a lot of trial and error. A lot of, what, what, what if I put this bulb with that, what if I put this line with that bulb? What if I did this with that, you know? And, and, and I have to practice connecting this wire that goes to the, the turn signal. I had to practice and put this with over here and see if that worked and if that didn't work I'd put this over here to see if that worked and it didn't work I had them I had this hooked up to here and somehow when I had all three of these hooked up both lights went on both lights went on not one individually so I learned to take this off and eliminate this wire and have this wire that goes to the turn signal hooked up directly to the light directly to the light and nothing else. So hopefully this answers any questions. I know it's confusing. If you have any questions, please um, watch this video closely or leave them in the comment section. Um, I've never been so fucking excited about turn signals in my life. Now I can, now I can turn without getting in trouble, without, without mm, fucking up people's day, okay? So this is it, man. And this is what it looks like. Peace out.